Okay, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to um, make something like a, a wrap that you would put on the outside around a structural column. Um, and there's a PDF for this, but uh, for example, this column has a wrap on it. If I just hide that, there's the actual column that's holding up this deck. And um, often you will buy stuff or build stuff to go around the column. So how you build that is, um, I'll start on my basement floor plan. There's the ones I've done before. So it's going to be a new one and uh, I'm on the basement floor and I'm going to go to the architecture tab, use model in place. I like to use generic because uh, that's just what I want to do. Um, I'll call this one column wrap three. And now I'm in the world kind of like family editing. So I'm going to use an extrusion and I'll start with, I'm going to just do a square again. Um, and I'll make it, I'll make it eight by eight. And then if I look over here, uh, I want it to start actually at three inches and I'm going to have it go up, um, three inches. Actually, no, maybe I'll go extrusion start zero, extrusion end three. And I'll green check mark that, uh, but not two green check marks, just one. And I'll take a peek and good, there's the base. So the height of that one was three inches. Now I want it all to be one piece, so I'm going to draw another extrusion. So go back to create, extrusion, and I'm just going to use a rectangle on this one again, or I mean, uh, well, it's a rectangle, but I'm going to make it another square, six by six. Um, whoops, first thing I got to do is set the work plane, pick a plane to the top of that extrusion. There, now I'm going to do my six inch by six inch square. And I'm going to just move it to the middle. It's probably better ways, but this is how I do it. And um, this one, I want it to extrude, oh, I don't know, let's try three feet. So zero to three feet. And only one green check mark. There we go. And then maybe I want a little sloped thing in, and then I'll go up another one. So I'll go back here, go get the extrusion. Uh, actually, I was going to make a sloped one, right? So I'll go back to create and this time I'll use uh, the blend. Yeah, blend looks good. And I'll set the work plane to here. And I want it to start at the same size as that one. And that was the base. And then I'm going to click on the uh, top and I'll just make it go like that. Not very accurate. All right, um, so I've got uh, the base square and this square, and I check marked, and I'm going to look at it. Uh, cool, maybe that's what I wanted. Um, and then I'll put one, I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, yeah, I think you get the point. Now, if you wanted to do um, parts like that, sunken in, I used voids for that. So if I go back to create, I can pick a void form extrusion and I want it to cut out of maybe that original one. So I'm just going to show you how. So I want it to cut out just that much and I want that to start, let's say, um, oh, I better do it up on the other one. I'll make it cut into there. So um, you can play around with it, but I'm going to have that one start at six inches off the base and it's going to go up one foot. And it's a void already, so if I just green check mark that, go look at it, there it is. Can you see that? If I switch this to consistent, right there. So if you want to make it bigger, you can just click on it and drag the, oops, and drag the handle. See how easy that is? There. Let go of it, and that's an insy. So there's insies and outsies. So then, um, if you're completely done with your column, then you finally finish. Now, these ones, if I put this on realistic, I had already, I applied materials to each separate sort of um, extrusion. So in this one I had stone and marble or something. Anyway, so you can do that while you're in the edit mode. That's how you create a column wrap.